when you're working on a farm and working in the woods, there are a lot of vulnerable places on your tractor, but there's none more vulnerable than right here. And that's the grill guard of your tractor. So most tractors have some sort of cow catcher here, but it has these big holes in it. And then there's usually nowadays a plastic grill and that's the only thing stopping things like sticks and other debris from going in and hitting your radiator. About six inches back here on this particular tractor is the radiator and also the oil cooler is in front of that and then off to the side is the battery. None of those things are cheap. A radiator is $800. I have no idea how much a hydraulic cooler is and a battery is a couple hundred dollars. So what we wanna to do today is show you what you can do to protect this part of your tractor. We went online and researched grill guards and we found there are a bunch of manufacturers and fabricators out there that make grill guards. And they attach in different ways and they're different styles, but they all do basically the same thing. But one particular manufacturer stood out to us. They not only match the color of your tractor, but they also put the model number directly in the grill guard. They cut it out of the metal. And in some cases, they went further and did further customization. So we reached out to the company. The company's name is called Lone Performance. And we reached out to the owner, Matt Lone, and we told him what we were looking for. And he said he'd be glad to help us. And he, in fact, gave us the grill guard to install on our tractor. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you how to install a Lone Performance grill guard. But please go to Matt's webpage and check out all the things that he has for tractors. He is a master fabricator and he can make all sorts of things for tractors. He has a catalog of items that he already manufactures for tractors, but he also does customized products as well. So let me grab this grill guard and show you what he sent us. So this is the grill guard that Matt designed for us. And you can see it's got the L3901 into the grill guard. He gave us options on the cutouts for the headlight. But what was most striking to us was we provided him with the Piney Grove logo and he initially was just gonna cut it in the metal here, but he decided that would make this metal a little bit weaker. So he made the logo separate and then he bolted it on. We think that's a nice touch and we thank you, Matt, for doing that. We're gonna install this here today, but the first thing that I noticed when I put it up here initially is that these tabs right here actually go to the outside of the grill guard. And a lot of grill guards out there fasten on the inside. And why that's significant is by riding on the outside of this metal, you get more rigidity. If it was on the inside of this metal, it would more easily push in. So let's get this thing clamped on here and mark out the holes and get it installed. I don't have my helper, Miss Tiny Grove today. So we're gonna try and do this solo. I did bring some clamps to hold this in place. Once I get this clamped in place, I'll bring you in closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I tried to install this without clamps and I couldn't do it. What I'm trying to do is get this even on both sides and you can see that this rides on the outside of this piece of metal to give it strength on the top. So I just want this to be even on both sides and the only way I can do that is clamp it. I'm gonna clamp the bottom as well so it follows the contour of the grill exactly and then I'm going to pin punch the holes on all four corners so I can drill it and put in the bolts. So like I mentioned before, this grill guard rides on the outside and the bolts go on the outside. And from what I've seen of Matt's competitors, most of them put it on the inside. Another pro tip would be to take your loader off before you do this, but I'm just gonna struggle through it this way. So I got three clamps on there. It's following the contour real good. I'm probably gonna tighten this clamp up. Let me get a fourth one on that bottom corner. It took me a few minutes to get it clamped on there because I wanted to make sure it was even, not only up and down, but left and right. Also wanted to make sure I could pivot this grill guard forward. This is a two-piece grill guard, not this part that Matt made, but the OEM part from Kubota. And in order to pop the hood, you've got to lean this forward. And there's a little pin in the back here you got to pull. It's a little bit harder to get to with Matt's grill guard on here, but I'll show you how it works. So once I pull that pin out, this has to rotate. And that's why this grill guard can't be attached down here or else this won't rotate. Now Matt also makes a chin guard that turns into a chain bucket, but I bought this tractor used and my loader's a little bent and it comes down a little bit too close to the grill to have his chain bucket put on here, but that would keep anything like in this area from going up and hitting your grill. But for the most part, your grill is protected. Your headlights can shine through here. And of course, the Piney Grove emblem is right there in front of the tractor. Matt provides the bolts for the install. Because this is clamped in, I want the bolts to be here. So I want the bolt to be there as far as it can be. So I need to punch where I'm gonna drill the hole right there. 
This would have been so much easier if I'd taken the loader off. Okay, the magic of editing. The loader is removed. I wanted to give Matt a good install video for making this awesome grill guard for us, and that loader was just getting in the way too much. I've already pin punched right there, and now I need to do the two bottom ones. I don't know yet if I'm gonna drill it while it's on the tractor, but I definitely want to pin punch it so the drill bit don't walk. And by doing it while it's on the tractor, I make sure it's exactly where I want the bolt to go. Except for that one. I'm not even gonna show you that one. I'm gonna try drilling the 5 16 hole with the 5 16 bit. I don't know how tough this steel is on this Kubota tractor. If it's too tough or my drill bit gets too hot, I'll switch over to a 3 16 bit and then step up to the 5 16 Let's try the 5 16 yeah, let's go ahead and do a 3 16 first. I'm gonna do the 5 16 to mark the hole and get a good center, and then I'll switch to the 3 16 Now, a machinist will probably tell you that you don't do it this way, because you'll mess up the powder coating of the grill guard, but I want this thing to be right the first time. That 3 16 punches right through there quickly. This should go much easier now. There's two more to go. All right, all four holes are drilled. I've got four bolts here, two washers, one on each side, plus a jam nut or a lock nut. Put the bolt head on the outside so there'll be less things to catch. I'll put it like this. One thing you gotta keep in mind is on this top piece of metal, make sure that you can still get the nut on. So the bolt or the nut is half inch, and that means the bolt is half inch as well. I didn't bring a half inch wrench, so I'm just gonna hold the bolt side with a pair of vice grips. Should work out fine. One thing I didn't catch on camera was one of the bolts wasn't going in good, and you saw me drill 5 16 holes. Well, the guard had slipped a little, the clamp had slipped a little. So rather than forcing the bolt in that hole, I uh, readjusted the clamp till the bolt went in nice and easy. That way you don't strip the threads on the bolt. I just got these DeWalt clamps and uh, I've had these Craftsman for, I don't know, 20 years? Love them. These, don't love them yet. Yeah, these DeWalt ones don't loosen themselves like the Craftsman's do. Probably cost twice as much. Okay guys, she's all on. You ready for the grand reveal? Let's put her where she's supposed to be. There is a lone performance custom grill guard with the L3901 and the Piney Grove logo. I think it looks pretty good. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear what you guys think about it. I'm gonna put the loader back on and get some pictures of it, but otherwise that's gonna do it for today's video. We sure appreciate you watching. Be sure to check out Loan Performance and all the good things they make for tractors. And they also make a lot of things not for tractors. We'll leave a link to Matt's website below, but until the next one, y'all take care out there. And remember, life's short, tractor hard. <laughs>